Hey everyone, Professor Michael Scanlon here. So, <clears throat> let's talk fluid flow. Specifically, Bernoulli's principle. Now, Bernoulli's principle, in and of itself, doesn't apply everywhere. But it is a pretty good approximation for a lot of systems. I want to show you one of the things that you can do with Bernoulli's principle. And then show you how you can do something very similar at home. So, I have here something called a Venturi tube, <clears throat> and it's just a tube. Now, it's going to be very difficult for you to see because of white on white, white lights on white background. So, let me take it off. <clears throat> there we go. And what you'll see is that it's got a narrow end, it gets big, this part is connected to the big end, goes down here, and then it's connected to another narrow ending. Okay. Now Bernoulli's principle deals with fluid flow and pressure in a fluid, or the pressure exerted by a fluid. And as a consequence of fluid flow, not really Bernoulli's principle, but as a consequence of fluid flow, whenever you go from something big to something small, your fluid speeds up. Okay. According to Bernoulli's principle, whenever a fluid speeds up, the pressure it exerts decreases. So, I'm going to blow on this end of the tube, and my air that I'm blowing is going to go through the tube. It's going to go narrow, then big, then back to narrow. When the air that I'm blowing goes from this big section to this narrow section, it's going to have to speed up in this narrow section. As it speeds up, the pressure it exerts is going to have to decrease. Okay, that's part of Bernoulli's principle. So this green water that I have in this tube, on this side, there's going to be less pressure than on this side. What do you think is going to happen to the water in the tube then? Well, Watch and see. What happened? Watch again. So the water on this side of the tube, the surface of the water, experienced less pressure than the water on this side of the tube. That means there was more pressure on this side than this side, and the water got pushed down here and then up here. Pretty cool, huh? So how do I do this at home? <clears throat> well, it's actually pretty easy. You just need a ball and a funnel. Preferably a ping pong ball. It's just a common ball that you're going to have, although any small ball will do, as long as it fits in the funnel. And so what you're going to do, I challenge you, hashtag challenge, is take the ball, put it in the funnel, and then I have mine on a, a tube or a hose, but you can do it straight on the funnel itself as long as it's a clean funnel. Blow and blow the ball up. Right? That's why I, one reason why I say ping pong ball. It's very easy, it's very light, it's easy to get a hold of. And so you should be able to just blow the ball out, right? Just take it and whoosh, blow it up. I challenge you to do it. Give it a shot. And then figure out how what you observed works. What did you observe when you tried to blow the ball out? Did it go out? Did it not go out? Did it disappear? And then figure out why it did that. It's directly tied to Bernoulli's principle. That's going to be it for today's video. I will see you in the next one. Stay safe, everybody.